Attention all D-Class personnel. Please step out into the hall and in an orderly fashion report to Sector E ceremonial room in room 544. I repeat, all D-Class personnel, please step out into the hall and in an orderly fashion report to Sector E ceremonial room in room 544. If you need assistance, a guard will be standing by to assist you. Order and discipline behavior is monetary. We will not tolerate any inappropriate behavior or resistance. Thank you and remember, Secure. Contain. Protect. Alright D-Class, fall out of your rooms and fall into line. Women on the left, males on the right. You will march in an orderly manner down to Sector E for your ceremony. I am not in the mood today, and therefore there will be no tolerance of any inappropriate behavior whatsoever. The sooner you fall into line, the quicker that this process will be. Now, fall into line, you stupid sacks of shit! Hey guys, you know anything about the ceremony? Not sure. I figured the guards would tell me something, but they just shoved me back in the line. Yeah, the fuckers told me not to worry about it. They said we're going to a graduation ceremony, so they might pat us on the back and let us go back out into the real world. And you really believe that? Maybe he's right, but I really hope so. I still got to settle some business with the bitch who put me in death row in the first place. Yeah, real smart. Then you'll end up back here again. Hey, now that I know how this system works, I will know how to avoid being stuck in here again. Plus, this time I intend on not being caught. Hey! Shut up and eyes forward! No talking! Alright, break off into groups of ten and stand in front of the rectangular structures. Once the door opens, step inside and we will commence your ceremony. Hey, why can't we all have one big ceremony in a room like we did during orientation day? Trust me, D1126. This process is much faster, unless you little shits out of our hair the quickest. Now get into your groups. Everyone good? Good. <laughs> Have fun. Hello, D-Class personnel. If you are hearing this, then congratulations. You have managed to survive the extreme conditions that we staff must experience through our years of service here in the Foundation. If you are standing here, then it was through discipline, dedication, alertness, and a keen sense of service to humanity that you are standing here today. And I, for one, tip my beret to you. Come on, I got stuff to do. Yeah, I want to see my baby boy. You all, I am sure, wish to receive your certificates for service to our organization, I wish to be on your way back into society. However, while we here at the SCP Foundation wish to thank you for your month of service, I am afraid that this request cannot be made. What? What the fuck does that mean? You see, while you may think all your sins and deeds of wrong have been forgiven, I am afraid we here at the SCP Foundation know better than to let people like you out into free society. Some of you, I am sure, were rubbing your hands and drooling over the fact of being reintegrated into society so you could continue to rape, murder, cheat, and destroy others' lives to satisfy your own selfish desires. You must understand this is your hell, a place to punish you while exploiting you as our own lab rats within our own labor pool. You are merely the oil that keeps a well-oiled machine running. And what happens when oil within an engine is old? You dispose of it. You guys smell that? Oh my god. 
It's gas. By now, I am sure you are trying to escape. But there is no escape for what you have done. I shall give you time to make peace to whatever god you might believe in. Because you shall be meeting him or her.